Thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. But before we get started, go ahead and subscribe to this channel and check out our backlog of great content for you guys. And then also consider hitting this join button, becoming a channel member today. You get all kinds of perks and things like that. And if this video was a blessing to you, don't forget to click the link below and make a donation in the PayPal. God bless you, friend, and we appreciate you. May God speak to your heart during this video. This is Harris. In today's video, we're going to talk about something that Tony Evans has taught called transdispensationalism. And it's really weird stuff, and it, quite frankly, it is another gospel. It is a false teaching. We're going to talk about that today. Don't go away. So thank you guys very much for watching today's video. Go ahead and smite thine like button and uh, do that. We're going to play a clip from our live stream that we did the other night where somebody asked a question about Tony Evans and trans dispensationalism. And so take a look at this right now. I got one here that said, uh, what is trans dispensationalism? That's a good question. Let me pull up third Adam four. Uh, for everybody, so you can see that here. Where is third Adam four? Uh, Trans dispensationalism is a belief from a guy named Tony Tony Evans, who is the father of Priscilla Shire. Let me see if I can find this in uh, the four hour. There it is, right there. Okay, so um, I'm gonna give you the textbook definition of trans dispensationalism right off third Adam four out timestamp of one hour, 38 minutes and 12 seconds. Okay. Despite being a popular, this is what I wrote. Despite being a popular speaker in evangelicalism, Tony Evans has multiple doctrinal issues. One of his major issues is his view on something called trans dispensationalism, which is the idea that if somebody does not hear the gospel, but walks in the light that he has, he will be in heaven. Let me, let me read that again because I, I want everybody to be shocked by that statement because it's a dangerous statement, okay? Um, <clears throat> Trans-dispensationalism is the idea that, when, that if somebody does not hear the gospel but walks in the light that he has, he will go to heaven. This is comparable to the universalist views that Billy Graham promoted at the end of his life. Here's his own words. He wrote a book called Totally Saved. Tony Evans did. And here's the quote from the book. In the case of a person who never hears the gospel and never knows the name of Jesus, but who responds to the light that he has, God treats that person like an Old Testament saint, if you will. That is, if the person trusts in what God has revealed, God deals with that person based on the knowledge that he has, not the information he never received. Yikes. That is called trans, I call this trans dispensationalism. So basically what he's saying, got some dude out in a, a remote island in Fiji somewhere, and he's walking around with a bone in his nose, and he knows that, that stealing is wrong. Because the law of God is just written on the conscience of man, and you know every culture who's ever lived has basically had a law saying that you could not, you can't steal. That's wrong. So that's written on his heart. He's never read a Bible, never read John three sixteen, never read nothing. But he says, you know, I just think it's just wrong for a person to steal, and he lives his whole life thinking that it's just wrong for a person to steal. Tony Evans is claiming that that person will go to heaven. I, do, I believe there's a great maker in the sky. I see the stars, and I do believe there's a great maker. And I do, in my conscience, believe it's wrong to steal. Tony Evans said that person's going to heaven. That's heresy. <coughs> That's a false gospel. That is not true, not even in the slightest, okay? Um, it says right here that... Um, by, he even quotes and says this, By this I mean if a person is sincerely seeking God and desiring to know him and is responding to the truth he knows... If there is no missionary or direct manifestation of God, then God judges that person based on his faith in the light he received. As in the case of Abraham, God will retroactively count this person as righteous by applying the death of Christ from the dispensation of grace. Straight up hogwash. Yeah. That, is an, that is an assault on the very nature of the gospel. That is an assault on missions. And that is the exact words of Tony Evans when he wrote that book called Totally Saved. And that's what transdispensationalism is. Um, whoa, buddy. Mm -hmm. So I, I just I can't go along with that, and I will not support that, and I will not act like that is okay because it is not okay. So that's 3rd Adam 4, hour 38, and uh, 32 seconds, uh, somewhere in there, hour 38. So go check that out, and uh, you will absolutely enjoy that documentary. So. Okay, with that being said, I want to go to give you a biblical reason why this is uh, not true. So uh, look with me. Romans chapter 2 talks about um, 
you know, God's judgment and, and the fact that the law of God is written on the hearts of people. And Romans 2.12 says this, For as many as have sinned without law shall also perish without law, and the law being there, the Ten Commandments. So we could say here by looking at this text that these are the people that have never read the Bible. They've never been given a gospel tract. They don't know what the Ten Commandments per se are. Um, but it says that those who have sinned without law shall also perish without law, meaning they're still going to hell even though they've never seen the Ten Commandments and don't know the law of God. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. So just because it's kind of like the uh, the old saying, ignorance of the law is no excuse. Well, I didn't know what the speed limit was, officer. I didn't know that I couldn't go 90 miles an hour here. There was no sign. I didn't see a sign. Um Ignorance of the law is no excuse. You still broke the law. Uh, Romans, uh, let's see here, verse number 13, for uh, not the hearers of the law are justified before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Uh, For when the Gentiles, which have not the law, do by nature the things contained in the law, these having not the law are a law unto themselves. And uh, which show the work of the law written in their hearts, their conscience also bearing witness, and their thoughts the meanwhile accusing or else excusing uh, one another in the day when God shall judge the secrets of men by Jesus Christ according to my gospel. So even if you've never heard the Ten Commandments, and even if you as an unsaved person try to do the best that you can, you still have fallen short of the glory of God. You, there's enough knowledge there just written on the conscience of a man to convict him and to condemn him, but not to convert him and not to save him. And that's the problem. This is what Tony Evans is teaching. He says these people out there on these islands somewhere uh, just do the best they can. They never hear uh, the gospel. Then God, you know, will allow them to go to heaven. Now, if that be the case, what we need to do is we need to stop doing missions and just have fun with it. Matter of fact, I, I tell you this, even the Mormons believe this which isn't good. I had, I had Mormon missionaries tell me this to my face one time. And, uh, it's, it's not biblical. It's just, it's, it's, it, it is an assault on the very nature of the gospel. I would like to see Tony Evans back up on this. I, I just know that this is not true. There's nothing right about this biblically. So, um, for a man to be saved, he has to hear the gospel and somebody has to go, and somebody has to preach, and somebody has to tell them what the law of God says. And um, so, right, verse number 14, how then, uh, Romans 10, 14, how then shall they call on him in whom they've not believed? It's a good question. And how shall they believe in him of whom they've not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them uh, that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So there we go. There we go. You know, how are these people going to believe? You have to believe on the gospel. You have to believe on Christ. And how shall they call on him and who they've not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they've not heard? So if you haven't heard, you can't get saved. If you've never heard the gospel, you're not saved. So I guess we have to make a choice here. Do we go with the Bible or do we go with Tony Evans? I think I know my choice. I'm going to go with the Bible. And I'd advise you to do the same thing. God bless you, friend. Hope that clears up that issue for you and hope you understand stand that and I hope you learn something. Uh, Tony Evans is a problem. Go watch Third Adam 4 for more information. And I know that'll be a help to you. God bless you guys. Have a good day.